this has been wonderful. Um, if it's okay with you, I have one Bob Dylan question I would like to sure. ask oh, you. Oh yeah, sure. Well, let's not forget Bob for crying out. Whoa. Well, yes. Um, now, the June twenty first, nineteen eighty four issue of Rolling Stone, there was a Kurt Loader cover interview with Bob. Well, we'll get there. We're coming around. <laughs> um, and the the piece Hi. opens with okay. him in a studio, like a soundstage, with Dylan. And they're shooting a music video. I don't believe he says which one. And Dylan is walking around. He's got his guitar. He's got his harmonica rack on. And as Kurt Loder is just observing this whole scene, he listens a little bit closer and realizes that Dylan has started playing Karma Chameleon by Culture Club, which was at the top, <laughs> top of the charts at the time. Um, my question to you, in your time working with Dylan, was he more a Karma Chameleon or a do you really want to hurt me kind of guy, <laughs> as far as Boy George songs goes. He was a definite karma chameleon. You think? Okay. Yeah. Well, you you were talking about yeah, working with Dylan, especially in that era, and playing Mick Taylor's guitar solo. No pressure. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, the pressure was to learn the licks to where nobody could tell that it wasn't me, and I I got a little coaching from guitar player in the Tech Stones, George. He he came. He was. He coached me on my lunch break so I could learn the, I had about an hour to learn the, learn all those licks. And, uh, but it, it, it worked out really great because, you know, I don't think they were expecting that I would play it so well. So when they went to edit, to look at through the viewfinder and my, uh, my manager was there and they were stand, Bob was standing around looking at it uh, with Bob's manager was standing around looking at the, at how well I played it. And, and they said, Oh, okay, great. So when they edited it, I got 32 seconds at the end of the video because That's they awesome. were mesmerized with the fact that I could play this thing. But, you know, I grew up listening to the Blues Breakers and Nick Taylor and the Rolling Stones and, lear you know, learned a lot of blues licks. And, you know, it was, it, it was quite uh, a boost for my career and my life. And Bob was great to work with. Very nice to me. Always nice. Every time I saw him, Hey, Carla, how you doing? And I would shake his hand like I'm breaking it, you know. And right. <laughs> he was always very respectful and 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 nice to to both both me and my band. And came out to see us a bunch of times play. And so you know, wonderful. Really yeah. So only a few decades of intense study to be able to play the lick, and then you're all good. The, last, <laughs> the, the second third of the last lick was a total fake. <laughs> <laughs> you'll know which one when you see it it's called the waterfall lick and that's mick taylor sent one of his signature licks and i just just went <laughs> <laughs> that works <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 